Hello everyone. Today we'll show you uh, the way to use Human Pro add-on. First, we're gonna use a model in Dev Studio and then export it to Blender. So this one is a Genesis 9 model. We have to export two files: the DUF and the DBZ. With the DBZ file, we gonna select on the export option like I do here. After the export is finished, we gonna open the add-on in Blender. We gonna use the add-on step by step. For the step one is import the file that we export from that studio, locate the file like you do here, and wait for the add-on to process it. After the process is finished. You can see the model is now shown in the viewport. One tip for someone who already used Dev Studio, this model can be your full function like Dev Studio in Blender file by using the free add-on called Deformorphic in this website. And don't forget to save this file after the import process is finished. Okay, now go back to the add-on. We're gonna select the head asset in add-on, main object, and the head material slot of the model. If you choose the other thing of the model like the amateur here, the add-on will show the warning that you select the wrong object. As you can see, after I hit the Add button, without choosing the material slot, we're gonna have a two material slot of the head. So remember to select the material slot to add the skin, like I do here. Do the same thing with other slot like body, leg, arm, and we can open the render viewport to check. This is the setting that I use to use to render on the video that I post. This has on will include all the settings that you need to use to change skin material without diving into the shadow node that I make for this add-on. Note that this one will setting for each skin material socket. By this way, you will have a more control for skin material of your character model.
This is the setting that I used to use to render all the video that I post. The next step is import the rig for the model. Click on step 2 button to import the rig for the character model. This controller will lock at this position for you to do the animation. You can drag another window to control it easier. About the material, I will use link data block to save the memory for the Blender working file. If you want to pack on the material map to send or to working in another PC, you can do the way that I do here. Click on the unlinked data block in the add-on, and after that you can pack on the material into the Blender file. Be aware that this way you will make the Blender file heavier than before.
about makeup for the face you can check the setting inside the node here if you want to change the color for the makeup please uncheck the use default color box and after that you can change the color by the way you want With all the add-on, you cannot change the skin color or maybe just change the shape of it or sometimes it's not handy to change it. With this one, I include the skin tone change color so basically you can make the fantasy and alien skin easier. For some reason, you still want to keep all the detail of this as on, but want to use the color by of that studio model, or sometimes you just want to use another texture map. You can check the turn on your map box here. After that, you can link on the texture map that you want to use. Be aware in this group node, the normal map node on the top will show the normal map only. If you want to use the normal map with the displacement, please link the normal map to the normal map displacement below. Thank you for your support and thanks for watching.